Be sure to have all of the following items before you begin. One vial of Novorel or HCG, 10,000 units. One vial with sterile diluent. One syringe with two needles, one for reconstitution and one for administration. Alcohol swabs. Sterile gauze. Safety container. Check that the diluent is clear and colorless. Do not use if the solution is cloudy, discolored, or contains particles. Wash your hands with soap and water and make sure you're working on a clean, flat surface. Using your thumb, flip the protective plastic caps off of the vial of Novorel or HCG and vial of diluent. Wipe the top of the vials with an alcohol swab. Remove the wrapping from the syringe and long reconstitution needle. Twist the reconstitution needle onto the syringe. Carefully pull or twist off the needle cap. Draw air into the syringe by pulling back the plunger to approximately the 1 milliliter 1 cc marking. Place the vial of diluent on a hard flat surface. Carefully insert the needle through the marked center circle of the rubber stopper into the vial of sterile water. Gently press on the syringe plunger. This will allow the air to enter the vial, which makes withdrawing the solution easier. Without removing the needle, invert the vial and slowly pull back the needle as far as needed to withdraw 1 cc of diluent into the syringe. Make sure the tip of the needle remains in the diluent by slowly backing the needle out of the vial to withdraw the diluent. You will only be using a portion of the diluent. Remove the needle and syringe from the vial. Place the vial containing Novorel or HCG on a hard, flat surface. Insert the needle through the marked center circle of the rubber stopper into the vial. Slowly inject the sterile diluent into the vial of Novorel or HCG by pressing down on the syringe plunger. Without removing the needle from the vial, Gently rotate the vial between your fingers until all of the powder is dissolved. Do not shake. Without removing the needle, invert the vial and slowly pull back on the syringe as far as needed and withdraw the entire contents of the vial into the syringe. Make sure that the tip of the needle remains in the solution by slowly backing it out of the vial to withdraw as much of the solution as possible. Remove the needle and syringe from the vial Recap the reconstitution needle and remove the needle by twisting it off the syringe. Discard used needle in your safety container. Remove the wrapping from the administration needle. Twist the administration needle onto the syringe. Carefully pull or twist off the protective needle cap. To remove any air bubbles in the syringe, Point the needle upward and gently tap on the syringe. When all bubbles have risen to the top, slightly press the plunger until a small drop of solution appears at the tip of the needle. Recap the needle. For intramuscular injection, choose an injection site as directed by your health care provider. The upper outer quadrant of the buttocks will be demonstrated. Alternate sides each day. Clean the injection site with an alcohol wipe and let air dry. Uncap the injection syringe. Hold the syringe the way you would hold a pencil. Use the thumb and index finger of your other hand to gently spread the skin at the injection site. Insert the entire length of the needle in a quick dart-like motion at a 90 degree angle straight in. Hold the barrel of the syringe with your non-dominant hand and very gently pull back on the plunger just a bit to check for blood. Do not pull forcefully back on the plunger. If there is no blood, push the plunger in a slow, steady motion until all the medication is injected. If there is blood in the syringe, remove the needle, change the needle, and start the injection again at a different injection site. This does not happen very often and is not a reason for concern. Once the injection is completed, gently withdraw the needle and apply pressure to the injection site with a sterile gauze pad. Discard the used syringe and needle in your safety container.